Hello everyone, my name is Sandy Muro, and I am the coordinator of information systems here at TMEC Public Schools. Today we're going to talk about family access. To access a parent portal, first go to the TNEC Schools website at www.tnecschools.org. Then on the left side of the homepage, click on the Family Access Quick link. This will direct you to the Family Access webpage, where you will find the link to the login screen, which is right here. Click Family Access to connect. And the training manuals uh, for the elementary schools, the middle schools, high school, and both English and in Spanish, and also the instructions for the Skyward mobile app is located right here. There's also information um, uh, on who to contact if you need technical assistance. Uh, if you need technical assistance, you will need to contact techhelp at tnexschools.org. So during this session, we are going to be reviewing uh, the training manual for the elementary schools. Uh, we're going to provide a brief overview just to get you started. Um, so with that, let's get started. Let's go ahead and click on the training manual called Family Access Manual uh, Elementary Schools. So let's go ahead and click here. Okay. So what is Family Access? Well, Family Access is a component of our student information system which allows us to provide you with a safe and secure way to view academic information about your child via the Internet. Depending on your child's grade level, you will have access to some or all of the following information. Your child's schedule, uh, daily attendance record or class attendance, your child's marking period and final grades, your child's report cards and progress reports, your child's teacher's gradebook grades, your contact information, which you have the ability to change and update, your email addresses, your phone numbers, and emergency contact information. Uh, a quick note, change of addresses cannot be done online. So you must contact the registrar's office um, at the uh, registrar at tnexschools.org or you can call 201-833-5512. Uh, please leave a detailed message, your email address and phone number, and someone will get right back to you. So logging into Family Access. Again, you can open up uh, your internet browser. You can use Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, Safari, Google Chrome, whatever you choose. Uh, you need to go to the TNEC Schools webpage, again, www.tnexschools.org. You're going to click on the Family Access Quick Link located on the left side of the home page. And uh, once you click on that, you're going to click on the link to the login screen. Uh, and you're going to enter your username, your password, and you're going to click on Sign In. So let's just take a quick peek at that. So let's go back to here is my family access um, web page. You're going to click on family access to connect. And this is going to bring you to the login screen. Again, here you will enter your username, your password, and click on sign in. So if you are logging in for the first time, you're going to be asked to change your password. So we highly recommend you go ahead and change your password. Um, if you have any trouble uh, with your password, uh, please email uh, the techhelp at tnexschools.org and we will be more than happy to assist you. Uh, if you do not have an account, uh, please go ahead and select the Forgot Your Login Password link from the login screen, the system is going to email you a reset link with your account information. And how that works is, either way, if you're new or uh, if you forgot your password, uh, here is how you would go about it. So if you have forgotten your login password, you can click on the forgot your login password link located at the bottom of the login screen, as I said before. Then next, you're going to get a screen 
uh, where it's going to verify whether you are a human or a computer trying to just um, get a password. So here you're going to click on I am not a robot and you're going to enter your email address or username and you're going to click on submit. Once you click on submit you're going to receive a message where it reads your request has been received by the district. If you don't receive the email if you don't receive the email soon, please contact the district. So um, if for whatever reason after you have submitted your request, you do not receive an email from the system uh, with your reset account information, then please contact your child's school to verify your email address in our records. Uh, if that shows that uh, the email address is correct, then the school will, ver will let us know the technology department and we will take care of it at that point. Once you have successfully logged into uh, Family Access, one of the things that you can do is you can change uh, your account settings uh, via My Account. So My Account allows a user to change the parent uh, and or guardian email addresses, telephone numbers, emergency contacts, and set up email notifications. Now remember the settings under my account apply to your entire family. So any changes you make will apply to everyone associated to your family. Now to change your account settings, all you do is click on my account, which is located here at the top corner, right corner. Um, your account settings will then appear. You can make uh, all of the necessary changes that you need to make. And then you're going to click on save. Here you can also change your password if you choose to. Uh, and all you do is click on ch the change password button. You're going to enter your current password. Uh, you're going to enter then the new password and then retype your new password and click save. You can also change your email notifications. Uh, how you want to receive your daily attendance notifications, how you want to receive your grading emails, how you want to receive progress reports. Here you can select however you would like or whatever you would like to, uh, to receive notifications. Now a little note to, uh, regarding the uh, daily attendance uh, notifications. The attendance email notifications is sent if the student has any attendance records entered for that day then you would receive a notification. That's the only time. So now let's continue with the calendar. The calendar gives you a view of your child's school activities. You can see upcoming or missing assignments, uh, grades, extracurricular activities, scheduled parent conferences, and more. Anything the school or the teacher posts will be uh, shown here on the calendar. You can view uh, excuse me, you can customize the calendar view by clicking on calendar display. And I'm going to make my screen a little bigger here so you can see. So when you click on calendar, over here on the right hand side you're going to see calendar display. When you click on calendar display you're going to see a lot of options here uh, that you can choose from. And also you can select by student. So if you have more than one student in the system uh, you can select what you want to see for that specific student as well. Once you make your, your selections, go ahead and click on Save, and that's what you're going to see in your calendar moving forward. Next, we have the gradebook. So in the gradebook, and this is for the elementary schools, um, the gradebook tab will show your child's grades for each marking period you can select a specific term by clicking on display options. So when you click on the gradebook, you're going to see the level of performance uh, and what each of the uh, grades uh, mean, their description, and you're going to see the different classes, the teacher who's assigned to the class, and what the skill is and what the grade is you have display options available to you as well. 
If you click on display options, you're going to see a couple of options uh, that you can select from. So you can show subjects, you can show skills, you can uh, view grades, all grades, or show current grades only, or show previous and current grades only. So you have a couple of different ways that you can display the grading uh, for, your, uh, for your child. Um, so you can also view the skills by clicking the book icon. So as you can see, each class has a little book icon. When you click on that book icon, you will receive, you will see more uh, information, more detailed information about the class and the grade uh, associated with that, uh, with that class, with that skill. So this is something that many parents really like uh, to see. So next we have attendance. So the attendance screen allows you to view your child's tardies and absences. Uh, the attendance screen is divided into several areas. The left side of the screen displays detailed attendance information by student. So as you can see here, student one, here's all of their attendance information. Student two, here's all of their attendance information. The right side of the screen displays the attendance information in chart format. So as you can see here, student one, student two, it's the same information as here on the left side, but it's in a chart. Uh, if you don't want to see the attendance in chart format, all you do is click on hide charts and the chart will go away. It's totally what your preference is. The next tab is student info. Uh, in this section, Skyward shows the information the school district has about your child. Um, if you need to make changes, all you need to do is click on Request Changes for Student, and then you select the information you wish to change, and then you're going to click on Save. So you're going to go here on the right corner. You're going to click on Request Changes, and under Request Changes, you can change family information. You can change emergency contact information. You can change emergency contact order information. You, again, you cannot change family address. Um, not sure why they have it here, but you could only view it, but you won't, it, this will not allow you to make any edits. It's just going to show you what the address is in the student information section. Um, and, um, and that is it. So yeah, so here's where you can make those changes. Next we have the schedule, uh, and this is something that many parents uh, ask about. So use the schedule tab to see your child's classes, including the period, the teacher, and the detail about the class. So to view the details of the class, you can click on the name of the class. So as you can see here, it's for the student, there is the schedule, and if you wanted to look at any individual class, you would just click on that individual class. Now to print your child's schedule, all you need to do is click on print schedule. And that is it. Uh, here it's displaying also the schedule by term. What classes are, uh, are assigned to your child by marking period 1, marking period 2, 3, and 4. In this case, because it's the elementary school, uh, rarely or do the classes change from one, one marking period to the next. Uh, but here you're going to see everything. Next, uh, a lot of parents like this too, is the academic history screen. Uh, history screen. Uh, and this allows you to view your students' grade history. Uh, it displays the school, the school year, the grade level, a class description, the terms and grades for all the classes your child is currently enrolled in, has completed, or is scheduled in to complete. Uh, to view more information about a class, all you do is click the course description in the class column. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screenshot, make this a little bigger for you. And here, as you can see, 
this student, and we're going to start from the bottom, grade one, there's information there. Uh, then we have grade two, all of the classes and the grades that the child received when they were in grade two. And then at the time of the screenshot, they were in grade three. And these are all the classes for, th for grade three and all of the uh, grades that were associated to that class up until marking period one. So next we're going to talk about uh, report cards for the elementary schools. You can find the report cards under the report cards portfolio screen. Uh, here you just need to click on the file name and the file will open and it will display the report card. So you're just going to go at the time that we did the screenshot here, the report card is called standards report card 6-26-2017, which means that was the last report card for the school year. All you do is click on this link and it will open up the report card and you then you can go ahead and print uh, that document if you wish. Next we have the Skyward mobile app. Um, and this is something that uh, many parents uh, use uh, in, in, in our district and it's very, very, comes very handy. Uh, the first step is to install the uh, Skyward uh, mobile app onto your device. The free app is available either on Amazon, Google Play, or iTunes. So all you do is go ahead and install it. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate the uh, district. Uh, you can either locate it by selecting the current location, uh, by postal code, by district name. Uh, we recommend that you select using postal code. Um, so all you would do is click on postal code, uh, type in 07666, and once you do that, you're going to select Teatnik School District from the list. And then you're going to go ahead and enter your Skyward username and password uh, in the login credentials. Uh, if for whatever reason you do not remember your login credentials, then you can contact your child's school and they will be able to help you. So once you have uh, entered your login uh, username and password, you're going to click on Save. And then you're going to be asked to create a four-digit passcode uh, so to access the Skyward mobile app. Uh, once your account has been set up, the passcode will be used to access the account moving forward. So you can select any, any four-digit pass, uh, passcode. Uh, you can set the passcode settings either after 10 minutes or required right away. It's completely up to you. You can always change this later on in the account settings. Uh, make your selection and then finally you're going to select uh, mobile from the listing because now you're going to have two. You're going to have your mobile account and you're going to have your desktop account. In this case because you're setting up your mobile device you're going to select mobile um, and then that's it. You're ready to access your child's data from your mobile device anywhere you go. Um, and that is it. I hope this has given you enough information to get you started. Again, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to contact us uh, at the uh, techhelp at teenexschools.org. Um, and as you can see, you can always find us here on the website, techhelp at teenexschools.org. Thank you for your time and good luck.